hello everyone so in this video we will see how to create a facebook business manager account how to add ads account page and pixel how to integrate pixel with shopify and woocommerce and add domain and verify it make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss such videos step 1 create business manager account go to business.facebook.com from here you can see there is an option to create an account add your business name your name and your business email address after that click submit Facebook will send you the confirmation email. Now click on done. Here is your business manager dashboard. Now first from your mail go to social and here is the Facebook confirmation mail. Click on confirm. It will redirect us to the business manager settings. From here, first go to business info. Now click in edit and add a profile picture. After that. Add it your business details. Fill all the information and then save. And we are done. Step two: Create ads account. From the navigation, go to accounts and ads accounts. From here, click on add. So there are three options. You can add your existing ads account. you can request access to an ads account behalf of any other business or you can create a new ads account tap your ad account name choose your time zone and currency after that click next so it's asking who will this ads account be used for so i'll choose my business and click create from here you can add people and set permissions so i'll choose uh, people and give the proper permissions now you can add a payment method into your ads account but i'll do that later step 3 create facebook page once again from accounts go to pages now click on add similarly you can add your existing page or you can request access to a page behalf of another business or create a new page now choose a category if you are an e-commerce website you can choose brand or product or company i'll choose organization and your page name and the category now click on create page it will create a new page for us so a new page is created it already added one user and uh, permissions step 3 add users to your business manager from the left hand side go to user and people now click on add enter the email addresses of the users you want to add 
Now assign the business roles. You can assign additional roles as well. And click next. Now assign access. Let's say I want to add them to my page and assign access. I want to add them to my ads account as well. Now click invite and invitations are sent. So when they go to the emails and social, they'll get they will get the email something like this. Click on get started and choose the name. Click on continue, continue again and tell them to make sure to log in with the same email address. Click on accept invitation and they will be added to our business manager. Step 5 create pixel. From the left hand side navigation, go to data sources and pixels, click on add. Choose your pixels name. You can add your website here. So click on continue. There are two options. Uh, but we will set up the pixel manually. So click close. Now click on add people. Select the users. And you can give them the permissions. Now click on add assets and choose the ads account for this pixel and now click on add. Step 6. Integrate pixel with Shopify. From your Shopify dashboard, go to online store and preferences. Scroll down and click on set up Facebook. From this page, click on Add Sales Channel. Now from here, click on Start Setup. But this one, advertise your product on Facebook, not this one. Click on Start Setup. Now click on Connect Account. So here you have to log into your Facebook account. So confirm your account and allow. Now continue. Now choose the business manager account. For data sharing preferences, I'll choose maximum and click on save. Now from here choose your pixel agree to terms and submit for review successfully connected our facebook and pixel to manage all the settings go to settings when it's done go to your store you have to make sure pixel is working to do that i will be using facebook pixel helper you can install it to your chrome browser as you can see our pixel is working fine let's uh, go to our product page as you can see it's working fine step 7 integrate pixel with woocommerce from your woocommerce dashboard go to plugins and add new now search for pixel your site now install and activate the first plugin now from the left hand side go to pixel your site and dashboard as you can see there is a your meta pixel option now click for settings enable 
can watch API and advanced matching. Now go to your business manager and copy the pixel ID and paste it here. We'll verify our domain in the next step. Let's go to bottom and save settings. Now to make sure our pixel is working, go to your website and with our Facebook pixel helper, as you can see our pixel is working fine. Step 8. Configure web events. From your business manager settings and go to event manager there is an alert for converger events you can click on review events or go to data sources from here go to aggregated event measurement and then configure web events now click on the domain now click on manage events now confirm and click edit from here choose our pixel and choose an event so basically we have to choose a higher priority lower priority events for the higher priority I'll choose purchase Click on add event and the lower priority I'll choose a view content. Add one more event. So basically I had put view content as a lowest priority add to cart as between and the highest priority is purchase. Now apply. Confirm the changes and apply. Now go to data sources and test events. Choose your website that reload your website. And from your data sources as you can see we are receiving the activities you can see all the details here so from overview you can now mark this as complete and we are done step 9 add domain from your business manager settings now go to brand safety and domains click on add you can request access to a domain from another business or you can add a new domain i'll add a new domain enter your domain name without the prefixes http or https now click on add as you can see i am getting this error that my domain has verified on another business so i'll go to that business manager and remove it from there and I'll log in back to my current business manager and we'll try adding that domain again As you can see, now we have to verify our domain. So there are three options to verify the domain. Step 10. Verify domain from Shopify. To add and verify domain, click on create. Let's add a domain 
which is on Shopify. From these three options, choose the first option, meta tag to your HTML source code and copy the meta tag. Now go to your uh, Shopify dashboard, click on online store and themes. From your theme settings, choose edit code. Now choose theme liquid. Under this head tag, paste the code we have copied and click on save. Now go to your business settings and click on verify domain. As you can see, the domain has verified. Now click on add assets. And add a page to that domain and then step 11 verify domain from WooCommerce or WordPress now click on add I'll add domain which is on WooCommerce now click on add copy the meta tag from your WooCommerce dashboard go to Pixel your site dashboard and into verify your domain enter the meta tag here and save settings now go to your business settings and verify domain and our domain is verified now add page to a domain and click on done we are done so we have successfully created our business manager added ads account pixel and page we have also added a domain and verified it in the upcoming videos we will see how you can create facebook ads step by step so make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss such videos leave us a comment below if you still have any queries make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss such videos